And the best of luck to you all. Now, as the youngest member of the world-renowned Osman family, our next guest achieved global fame by the age of just five. At nine, he was the youngest performer to have a number one in the UK when long-haired lover from Liverpool topped the charts, and that's a record he still holds to this day. Three decades later, he's still enjoying fame and adoration from fans all over the world. Quite right, too, we say. Please welcome Jimmy Osman. Woo! Thank you. Hello, ladies. Nice to, nice to be back. Nice to be back. And, you're, really and you're back because you are, are going to be gracing our stages again. As a new you know, it's been an amazing, amazing year. You know, first we celebrated the family's 50th anniversary. We played all the big arenas, and it was just when I thought that that was it. Uh, I did a few plays. I was in uh, Chicago mm -hmm. and Greece. Which was a big mm -hmm. ambition of yours to it be It was. In Greece, I always wanted it? to play on the, on the West End, and I got my dream co to come true. And they put me on all those big buses, and it was fun. It was really a did blast. Did you not been on a bus? I did. Yeah. I kind of got sick of my own face. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great, it was a great experience. And, and so now we're coming back, and we're going to have a big 70s revival and uh, the Once in a Lifetime tour. We're going to be with David Essex. <gasps> Yes, Liz McEwen, legendary Bay City yes, Rollers. Yes, of course. Yes, and wow. also Leo Sayer for the first time. And the Osmonds. And the Osmonds. So it's all a lot of fun. It's all the, the brothers, all the, the brothers, brothers. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All the original guys. And how, are, how are your brothers and how's Marie and everybody? Everyone's great. Donnie's yeah. doing that dancing show over in America. That's he's doing, stars. Yeah, he's oh. doing very well. And my sister Marie and Donnie are headlining in, uh, in Las Vegas at the Hilton. And then uh, my brothers and I are still performing about 100 shows a year. They're doing, you getting ready stop. for Christmas it's, it's shows. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it, that after all this time, that you're still there and everybody just is so excited to see you all. Well, you know, it's, it's amazing. You know, I, I call people our friends rather than fans because they've stuck with us for so many years. And, you know, many years ago, we got some great advice and, and that we realized the fact the reason why we're here is because of those people that buy your records and go to your concerts. Mm. And so we owe it all to you good people. So thank you do so you, much. Do you, ever get, um, do you ever get fed up of doing it? Because you do like the old stuff all the time, don't you? Yeah, we do. But do you, do you ever really secretly get fed up with that? Well, you know, sometimes you get sick of singing some cheeky songs like Long Haired Lover from Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. That is what people but, want. <laughs> but you know what? I learned that lesson. We were performing at Wembley. And uh, we left it out of the set because I thought it was, you know, a little cheeky. And all of a sudden, the whole audience started stomping their feet, and they all sang it to us. Oh, and I kind of got a little bit wow. emotional because I realized, you know, these shows aren't about us. They're about helping people remember their lives when mm. you were lucky enough to have your songs on the radio. Absolutely. And uh, so, you know, we get that. And that's why we're excited to perform. Because I think perform. that there are some people that, th that, that tour, and I think they forget that. I mean, obviously, it's an opportunity to showcase your new stuff as a musician sure. as well. But I think you have to give people what you want. And there's some know, people and where you sit there thinking, member, why did they not sing those? They go, and now four new tracks from the latest album. You go, <laughs> no, you know, I, I, don't, I think people love to hear what you're doing next but you know that's one Thrown of the reasons why this tour coming up is going to be so much fun because everybody just does their hits and a few okay. years ago oh. we did a tour like this with tony denton and uh, it was a lot of fun but at the end of the tour i wanted to sing saturday night and they wanted to sing crazy horses and it was really cool we all got along Swap very around. well do you get you know? into um um Sort of period costume as well, or do no, you I, I can't. Oh, yeah. period I can't oh, fit in the jumpsuit anymore. Jumpsuit. <laughs> Why not? From the 16th century, Carol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the flares are no, retired. I think you should. No. I and think you know, people Jimmy, would we love talking that. about meeting, um, meeting our heroes, and obviously you must have, wow, you must have met Lally, everybody in the business, but was there anybody that you were really sort of quite scared or, or dumbstruck when you met? Well, you know, I oh, was... Of us, obviously. Yeah. Uh, of you, of oh, course. You. Uh, Liz Hurley, actually, really... Liz Hurley? Liz Hurley, you know, she went on a talk show years ago and said that I was her first love growing up. And so all these years, I used to brag to everyone, especially my wife, that Liz Hurley <laughs> likes me, you know. And when I was doing Grease, um, she rung up and said, can I come meet you? And I was so scared. Really? You know, and I grew up the old Hollywood way where, you know, you meet people and it was just the normal thing. But Liz Hurley really, she, she had me baffled for words. And yet you met Andy Williams, Sinatra, and all those big people. Elvis. I mean, Elvis. Elvis. You were obsessed with Elvis. Wasn't there a little Elvis uh, Yeah, yeah I was one of the first. This is embarrassing to admit. No, listen, but, you heard Sherry Steve McQueen's story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it that. similar to that? It's similar. Oh, no. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was funny because I used to be the very first impersonator, I guess. They did a thing in America on the very first Elvis impersonator, and it was me. I was a little boy. 
Uh, Elvis helped me with a suit, and I looked yeah. just like him. I went out, and at that time, food was free at the hotels, you know. <laughs> and boy, did I eat it. And uh, I remember singing this, I want you all to know that. And I was supposed to stare at a lady in the front row, and I threw up all over the front <gasps> row. Oh. In front of Elvis. It was so Elvis embarrassing. Did you do it? And I looked up, and there he is in the light booth, just oh. laughing his head off. And so, uh, yeah, I stopped eating cheese sandwiches. <laughs> no, but I, you know, I never used to tell that story, but my brother Donnie put it in his book, thank you very much. But uh, it was a, one of those memories, most embarrassing moments. You know? <laughs> it's a shame, yeah. yeah. Now, the, the tour is going on sale when? It's on sale now, but it starts uh, the last week in June. And I guess we're going to be back here in London at Wembley on the 1st of July. So come on and have can a party. We can, and can we come backstage? Absolutely. Oh, it's a nice. That's keep the working most fun. It. Oh, Jimmy, as always, it's <laughs> been a pleasure. Good, isn't she? Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Osmond. Thank you so much. Okay, time for a quick break.